before we begin, I have a few questions for you. Question number one, do you wish you played more in the infield? Question number two, do you think you should be playing more in the infield? And question number three is, do you want to be a better infielder? If you answered yes to any of those questions, you came to the right channel. Stick around for the end. We're going to give you a nice little bonus tip that's going to go with today's drill that you can execute together. It's going to guarantee you're going to easily become a better defender and you're going to have filthy, clean hands. My name is Coach Calvin, and today we'll be working on an at-home fielding exercise we can do during this lockdown. We're in lockdown, and we should remain there until this is all over with. It is our priority to stay healthy and stay clean, but it should also be a priority to stay ready. We don't need a huge, fancy facility to get better. Right now is a really good time to work on these details. When the season comes around, we're, we're ready. We're ready to play. Seen in this video, we're going to start on our knees. Our chest is down, our butt is back. We're going to start with a sponge ball, not a hard ball. We don't want to break anything or disturb any neighbors. We're going to use a sponge ball, and we're going to work on bouncing the ball and picking it. Here's three major keys you should be working on while performing this exercise. Major key number one is feel through the ball. You want your kill zone to be big. You don't want to just catch the ball and stab at it. You want to pick through the ball and work your hands as much as possible back to the batter as you can. Major key number two is to kill the bounce. That means you don't want it to bounce up too high. You want to catch it as soon as it bounces. Major key number three, we're going back to the chest down, butt back, but our hands are going to start on the ground. We're going to start under the ball, work under the ball, and stay under the ball. Some things to avoid. As seen in this video, we don't want to move our hands to the sides because if we miss this ball, this ball is going away from our target. If we miss a ball, we want it to stay right in front of us. Avoid this one as well, curling the wrist. We don't want to curl the wrist because anybody who curls their wrist too early has been prone to the ball going right under their legs. When this ball is a baseball, it's going to be a lot harder. Palm, hard surface, baseball, hard surface. We don't want those two to meet because it's going to cause a collision. Either you're going to come out and drop it, or it's going to hit you, you're going to catch it, but it's going to hurt. We want to avoid those two things. Instead, focus on catching the ball right in the middle of this index finger, right here. We want to catch every ball right here. I tell the kids, show me the take the L, and they come here. That's exactly where you should be catching the ball, right here. You stuck around for the bonus. I owe you. Take today's bonus and today's drill, mix them together, and you're easily going to become a better defender with better hands, filthy clean hands. We're going to take 30 seconds, and we're going to give ourselves five chances for those 30 seconds. You can repeat those 30 seconds five times. You're going to bounce, catch the ball as many times as you can in those 30 seconds. Your highest score and your highest amount of chances, you're going to comment down below. How many chances did you give yourself? How many catches did you get in those 30 seconds? The more chances, the better. The more catches, the better. Simple as that. If you have a friend who is also a one percenter who is working on their craft during this lockdown, share this video with them. Compete with them. See who's better. See who's catching more balls. Push each other. All right? Develop these great hands that infielders need to play at a high level. All right, so share with your friends, compete with them, comment down your highest scores, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. All right, the time is now. Be a one percenter.